the one thing i got to ask you is um about this mars colonization angle i saw the conversation you did with technical guruji and uh, you gave the example of antarctica you said that no country technically uh, governs antarctica but every country wants to try and set up a base there yes. so it's good that india set up a base there yes now 50 years from now you will have to probably go and set up a base at mars as well and you said that it's important for india to think about that because otherwise we'll be left behind in terms of absolutely reputation yes. at least yes sir right yes no doubt about it is this a conversation that the scientists at isro have regularly about how we can actually put people on mars over the next 10 20 years so we we yes to start that conversation in india in this rose context because we are talking about re- developing certain capability to send human beings to space through our gaganyaan program go to moon and land no we those capabilities are yet to be acquired by us but i believe that those visions will be created in due course at least we have a vision till 2047 now to send human beings to moon uh, i am sure next generation will take on on this and then build the capability to go to mars but all the ingredients for such a dream to happen is already there got it yeah. uh, again the one thing i know about space tech is that it builds up incrementally yes of course like one thing leads to another yeah for example if we talk about gaganyaan right now the goal is to take indian astronauts and put them in space yes after that mission is successful which it will be knowing isro's reputation uh the next step would be to put them on the moon of course yes no not really on the moon we the the first part of the gaganyaan mission is to send human beings to space keep them in orbit in a very contested place the crew crew module bring them back but then we are planning to build a space station the bharati andreesh station which will be a, a room like this enormous space and you can work there live there months together conduct experiments come back and forth so that will be the second phase of work so multiple people will go and work there for scientific technical or commercial pursuits after that we use that as a base to go to moon then possibly when the moon bases could be set up by that time moon bases yeah wow like what you live in a space station why don't you go and live on the moon it's possible and then people will ask you oh, you don't have enough space on earth that that you are going <laughs> living on the moon the reason is simple moon is a place where you can actually create the second base for us to go further exploration it is difficult to travel from earth because of our atmosphere and if you have a base at moon you can incrementally create the base and from there you will synthesize fuels then create the build the craft and much lesser cost you will be able to travel beyond what's your vision of that base the base could be an underground base because in the absence of an atmosphere the safety against radiation micrometeor impacts etc can be well you know handled if you have an underground base so you need to dig and create a base underneath uh, temperature will be benign uh, you will have a, you can create a breathing space working environment and then work from there all your antennas will be outside and you will be inside <laughs> <laughs> where our technologies in india stand right now if there is a manned mission to mars hmm. uh Say Mangalyaan three or four. Four or five. <laughs> four or five. Right. So you'll send rovers till then. See, uh, we we are already having plans to send rovers uh, landing on the Mars, which is we are thinking why not we do in the next mission. So that's one of the goal. Uh, sending hu- human to Mars is a possibility, but then today we do not have capability in terms of rockets. You know, the type of the rockets that are required are much more massive. So. that has to be developed in the in the due course you mean the technology doesn't exist technology exists scaling up money money yes money investment so that's what is lacking i don't think that we are lacking in any technology can i ask you bluntly how much money is required huge money for example if you just want to go to moon and go and send a man on moon we have to spend at least 2 lakh crores <laughs> for and one for that first mission to take place <sighs> okay that 2 lakh crores i don't need to spend tomorrow it has to be spent over some 25 years then we will have enough of stuff to do it then going to mars requires money of that nature so whether we are ready to invest that much of money for a country like india it is possible still today though it may be a huge money with a nation with 38 million lakh crore worth of annual budget it's not a bad number spending 1 lakh crore i am not talking about 1 or 2 lakh crore in one year i am talking about in 20 years 
so it's a money affordable for us that's why we are talking about manned mission to moon so with a nation which is going to become a third powerful economy of the world in the coming years in my opinion we should be willing to invest that much of money have you told pm modi this i am telling continuously <laughs> everyone <laughs> wherever i get an opportunity yes. <laughs> what has he said he is he is all all for it i am very sure about it but he is a very practical person and he will weigh merits of what we are going to do against various other priorities our nation is looking for so once i am very sure about it a, a powerful economically advanced nation will naturally go on for it and his first step is first vision is to make india economically a progress nation then all of this will follow mm. there is no doubt about it mm. that's just how economics works you're supposed to first yeah. think wide then think deep in domains it will happen hey if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel you'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it